So in this short, I'd like to talk about the serratus anterior plane block. This is a great way of providing some regional anesthesia to the anterior lateral portion of the chest wall. And so we use this a lot for patients with trauma, particularly with rib fractures in that area, as it's really safe to do and can provide some pretty effective anesthesia for these patients. So this is a view of the normal anatomy. That's what we're going to look at in this short. And what we're essentially looking for is the plane between the latissimus dorsi muscle and the serratus anterior muscle. So as we look at this image, there's a couple figures that we want to point out. And the first uh, key landmark is the rib, right? So we can see a rib here and a rib here with that pleural line just underneath that rib. And so the muscle immediately superficial to these ribs is the one we're looking for. And this is the serratus anterior muscle. So it's bounded by here and here. Right, and so the latissimus dorsi in this axillary region in the coronal plane is going to be this wedge-shaped muscle as it kind of terminates here out in the lateral part of the chest wall. So we have the latissimus dorsi, the serratus anterior. And so what we're looking for is a deposition of anesthetic material in this plane right here. 